So talking about another big story today, we're hearing reactions now from Jeff Bezos and his crew after returning from space just a few hours ago. We do have James Torres monitoring that news conference with what these new astronauts have to say about their flight. I imagine they're pretty excited, James. Yeah, Claudine, they sure are. Those astronauts went about six kilometers deep into space with a flight time of about 10 minutes. Everything went according to plan. That's the good news this morning, and we're now getting a first look inside the capsule during the flight, and you'll see the team floating around, playing with that zero gravity. Crew members say the flight was pretty smooth and much more emotional than they expected. Wally Funk, who is the only crew member that actually received some astronaut training prior to today's flight, she is now the oldest person to fly to space. When I went up this morning, the noise wasn't quite as bad, and we went right on up, and I saw darkness. I thought I was going to see the world, but we weren't quite high enough, and I felt great. Flight engineer, Airline Funk was Transport, part of the Mercury 13 project in the 60s, which trained women for space exploration. That program was eventually canceled. She and the other crew members received a pin of wings from Blue Origin. That's how they began that news conference, still going on right now. The flight also carried the youngest person to space, an 18-year-old Oliver Damon. Blue Origin says they will fly two more human missions by the end of this year. Claudine? Very exciting. Hard not to be excited when you hear how excited Wally Funk is as well. All right. Thanks, James.